This is a 2020 Marin Rift Zone, and I'm going to tell you why it's a bike you should consider. The 2020 Rift Zone is actually carrying over into 2021, so this is being included in our new 2021 bike showcase videos. This is a 125 travel rear end, 130 travel fork, full suspension, very aggressive trail bike. So with travel numbers like that, what makes it an aggressive trail bike, you might ask? Well, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you why I love it, and why it should be considered by people who are thinking of things like Pivot Trail 429s, or Norco Optics, because this bike sits right in the same sort of category. Like I said, 125 rear travel, 130 fork. Other angles that matter, that's a 65 and a half degree head tube angle. That is a 76 degree seat tube angle. And where this bike shines and what makes it such a playful bike, that chain stay is 425 millimeters in length. This is a size large and it features a 480 millimeter reach. So it is sitting right in the thick of what's considered sort of benchmark numbers for head tube, seat tube, and reach numbers with the chain stay being a little bit on the short side. So maybe not as stable as some of the bikes that get into longer rear ends. But if you're looking to have a pile of fun on your full suspension 29er, this is the guy that you should consider. The other reason that you should consider this, that is a Canadian price tag on there, $54.99. And that's getting you a carbon main triangle bike, Fox 34 performance fork, so 30, 34 millimeter stanchions with a fit grip damper. So you get a single level of compression adjustment there. It's an air fork, of course, so you get your nice air valve over here. I'll just show you the sweet top tube decal here. Oh, there's the focus coming in. One of the things we heard from people who throw a leg over this is just looking down at the cockpit. There is something about this nice flat top tube that is really appealing. Dady handlebars. A Marin branded stem. SLX, four piston brakes, so a really great brake. Fox DPX2 rear shock, so piggyback, and then you get that nice on the fly compression adjustment from firm to open. Of course, the red knob that we see over there, that is your rebound adjustment. We have some FSA gradient cranks with their own version of a narrow wide chain ring. A Shimano XT rear derailleur. This is a 54.99 carbon fiber trail bike with XT. Of course, a one by 12 or 12 speed drivetrain. 1051 range of gears on there. And because they're using 1051, if I can get that to focus down there, that is a Shimano hub on there. So reasonably good um, engagement and reliable, smooth running, really good rear hub. So, I mean, some of the things, the ride quality on this bike is just amazing. It's got wicked, um, sort of mid-stroke support so you get to if you enjoy riding stuff that's got undulating terrain that has a lot of berms a lot of rollers things that you can really pump your bike this 
could be faster than some much longer travel bikes because you're just getting so much efficiency and the thing that uh, you're probably also getting is massive smiles on your face. So as you can see, I hope you can see, this is a single pivot design. So the main pivot is right there. We have our other pivot on the seat stay. So it's a linkage driven single pivot bike. The positioning of that main pivot, that is where all the magic happens. If you get that right, you get a really efficient pedaling bike. If you get that wrong, you get something that it is either gonna basically jack itself out of its travel when you pedal hard, or is just gonna bob like crazy. And these guys, their engineers are on the ball like you wouldn't believe these last few years. We've got room for a bottle, I will admit, from riding this bike. It's only gonna be like a small 600 milliliter bottle that you'll fit in there but at least it's room for a bottle or in this part of the country, I usually carry a bear cozy on there. It does have a 150 mil X fusion dropper. Something you don't see every day is a PNW dropper lever on a stock bike, especially on a stock bike that is trying to squeeze as much value and performance into 5,400 bucks as possible. So, I should probably also do my tire thing. I seem to do this on all the videos. Maxxis Minion DHF 29 by 2.5 XO Plus casing. So super high quality tire. This isn't like an aftermarket uh, sort of, or a sub um, aftermarket quality tire. This is the real stuff. Another XO Plus on the back on a 29 by 2.4. DHR2. This is a superb bike and one I think anybody out there shopping for really expensive bikes should not assume that this thing doesn't perform like crazy. This is the sleeper in the aggressive short mid-travel 29er, down country, whatever you want to call these things these days. This thing is just such a winner. That's the Marin Rift Zone Carbon 2. Thanks, guys.